Hi everyone and welcome, my name is Dora and this is my ninth update to Deck of Panning. Emily, the creator of this project who's linked below, it's likely she's going to bring it back in 2023 and I'm so excited. I also love the fact that it runs for 11 months rather than 12, so from 20th of January till December 20th. Uh, so you get a month off over the holidays. Yeah, I think I'm going to basically treat Deck of Panning a bit differently next year. So I want to like treat it more like a traditional project pan because I've got a rolling project pan that I'm doing this year. I'm going to link it if you wanted to check it out. But yeah, I think I'm not going to do that next year and then instead sort of do Deck of Panning as that my main focus for non-eyeshadow related stuff. Let's get into the update though, right? Since the intro that I did personally on Instagram in January, the Revolution Constellation palette, and my goal was to hit pan in two shades. Um, the prompt was social media pics, so I did like a quick Instagram story, showed six different palettes and said, which of these should I work on? And this was the most popular choice and in the last update I showed you that I've got pan in night sky and now I also have pan in celestial so after three more uses after the update on the 18th of September I hit pan it took me eight months Whoa, I'm so glad it's done I already like rolled in a new item to replace it with in the last update um, and today I'm not replacing this. For the prompt partner choice I have got this Laura Mercier caviar stick in the shade Amethyst. It looks like this. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah so it's really nice brown shimmer but it does have like a purple shift to it. It's super smooth and silky like butter. I'm wearing it as an eyeshadow base today, absolutely love it. I had been like hoarding this item somewhat. Um, it was a gift from my husband and also a partner choice that my husband chose it. Um, for, he had forgotten by that point that he had given this to me. Anyway, uh, 21 uses. I'm only at five uses in total. In the last update, I was only at one use and I've used it an additional four times, including today, to reach five uses. Um, so it's here for another, what is that, 16 uses? And then yesterday I noticed that the packaging is a little bit cracked. I doubt you'll be able to see that, but there's like a slight crack in the lid here. Um, which I'm really disappointed about because like I said, I've been like trying to just hold back on using this product. Also, I'm quite aware that, you know, I mean, this says 18 months. It's been longer than that. And it's still like the quality seems to be great still, but it is going to dry out. And I noticed that this bubbles in here slightly more. Anyway, now that the lid is cracked, I think I'm gonna have to pan that really soon because I don't want it to go bad and then having to just chuck it away. That would be a shame. So, um, no more holding back on this one. Then for the prompt indie, I picked a face oil from Pie Face Botanics and it looks like this. Again, 21 uses. I'm at one use. And I used it for the first time as part of this project last night. And I used my little, um, like this little crystal face massage tool here. I think it's quartz. So I've been using that. I used that last night after doing my skincare. I've sort of added it to my skincare routine now. Now that I've started, I mean, I feel like there's no point in doing it as a one-off. The effect of this is going to be better if I like keep doing this every single night. So now that I've started, I'm going to have to keep going. Hopefully that's enough time for me to make this a habit. Because I was really good at doing this on a daily basis when I was on holiday over the summer. And then came back and just stopped. So yeah, this is back now. I'm quite confident this will be a rollout next time. 
And then the next three items, I believe I pulled in in the last update, all of them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure about that. The first one um, actually is three items, but the prompt was represent another project. And I went with project 10 swipes. It's a project that is mainly on Instagram, so all to do with nail polish. I've put it over to YouTube, go and check it out if you want. And I brought in three different nail polishes here that I had recently bought. Um, these three here, I'll go through them in a minute. And the goal was just to use them one time, to just try them out, because I hadn't even used them yet. So I managed to do that. So there is the Catrice nail polish here, Stronger Nails, uh, Strengthening Nail Lacquer in Pink Warrior. Really liked it. Um, I do have to say though, with all of them, I wasn't like massively impressed. I, mm, that's not true. Like I'd give each of them an eight out of 10, which I think is good, but like it's not, wow, must buy this exact shade and this exact polish again, if that makes sense. So yeah, I liked it, but you know, anyway. And then this one is P2 Cosmetics in the shade Out of the Blue. Um, it looks really nice, but it's super hard to take off. Um, yeah. And then this one is an H&M nail polish in the shade Beat It, double E, like beetroot. Um, it looks like so fun in the bottle. But on my fingernails, it was just not this kind of wow that I was expecting. It was far more normal. Uh, maybe I just have to go in with more layers. Something to think about for the future. But again, yeah, I've hit that target now. One use each. Um, I can roll something else in. Yeah. The next item was for the prompt, whole collection roulette. And this is what got randomized for me. So this is the MUA Intense Color Lip Liner in the shade Glam. It's a very shimmery purple, uh, really nice. I have used that five times in total. The goal is for 10 uses, so I'm halfway through. And I've used this in a number of different ways. I have used it a couple of times on my lips as intended. I have also used this as an eyeliner when I did a smoky eye look with satin. Actually, I can show you that shade. With this shade here, so this sort of minty shimmer. And I used this purple as an eyeliner and then went back in with satin on top to sort of smoke it out. It looked so good because it was very subtle but still there. So I really like that. Yeah, just like a lower lash line thing as well. I'm trying to think, did I use it as like a all over the lid as a base? No, I haven't done that yet, but I might do. Um, again, I think this will be a rollout next time. And then finally, the prompt was social media picks. And this was what everyone picked on my Instagram, in my stories. It's the H&M Do It All Stick in Rose Coral. Freaking love this. Um, it's so good. I'm wearing it today. Um, 10 uses I had on this and I have surpassed that. I stopped tallying at 12 uses, but I know I've used it more than that. Always as a blush, um, maybe once as a lip balm as well when I was like in a mega rush, possible. But yeah, I would definitely purchase this again. Love it, love it, love it. However, did roll it up all the way that's it you know it's not an awful lot so I'd say it's like a panna's dream in that sense so yeah if you're someone who has like a lot of blushes I would recommend this if you're like really low on your blush category and you're looking for something that's gonna like add to your collection and last quite a while then maybe this is not it but I love I love the formula of it. It's very, very, very nice. So, okay, let's do the fun bit now. I have got a joker in here and I am now shuffling and let's see what I get. So two more prompts, one to, rep uh, one to replace all the nail polishes and another one to replace the 
plastic. Um, yeah, I'm not doing, I already did one for that pan, but hey. Okay, I'm just gonna cut the deck and then put, just grab the first two cards. <gasps> I fucking knew this was happening. If you get the Joker, it means you have to pan something that makes you say, are you joking? Something that you don't want to pan. I thought about this and the thing that I do not want to pan for obvious reasons, because it took me forever, is eyeshadows. If you know me, you also know that I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes that I bought recently that I haven't even touched yet. Um, or maybe I've only touched like the odd shade here or there. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick one palette yeah, I'll pick a pristine palette. I think there's, I actually looked at this list because I had a feeling there's three palettes that I've never touched and haven't even swatched yet. So I'm gonna put those into like a random app, whatever gets chosen. Maybe I'll just do it with the cards. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, anyway, I'll randomize a palette. I should mention that one of these palettes has 27 pans and I am really feeling the pressure right now. I mean, it's October. I'm feeling the pressure of wanting to hit 10 more pans for my Duty Panda Batchet project out of 20. So I'm halfway through. I'm running behind on things. I don't think there's any point of me with only two months left to go to say I need to hit pan in one of those shades. I don't think that's enough time. Let's be realistic. So yeah, no pan left behind. There is the BH Cosmetics Do Not Disturb palette, which has still got the plastic foil on it. So here's what that looks like. So this is a contender, another nine shadow palette by Catrice. It's called Tropic Exotic. Again, with the plastic still on there. Um, so here's what that looks like. I'm sulking so hard right now. <laughs> or Revolution Forever Limitless Nude Rain. 27 pans. I draw my next prompt and then we'll pick randomly. Shuffle, shuffle. And cut the deck. And two of hearts, a backup item or duplicate. Okay, I have to have a think about that one. Um, as for the palettes now, so I'm gonna do, use my cards for this, pull a random card. If I get a spade, it's this, yeah? The BH Cosmetics palette, that's the spade. This is for clubs, creators, clubs, revolution, clubs. And if I get hearts, because it's sort of Venusy, reminding me, yeah. If I get hearts, it's this. And if I get a diamond, I'm going to have to pull another card. Hearts, okay. So the Catrice eyeshadow palette it is. I evaded massively something really bad, but okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peel it off now. If I can, oh my God, okay. Let's take that off. All right, let's give you a swatch. Okay, all right. There's a ton of similar shades that I still have to pan. And do you pan my best ship? Like that is basically satin, and this is like that's like rubble, really similar, and yeah, like oh, but okay, I can do it. Um, I don't think I will be. I mean, it sounds ridiculous with only like nine. Um, I should be able to do that within one month, technically, but I don't see that happening because I have already planned out a lot. And yeah, like I said, I'm really behind on a lot of eyeshadow panning. I don't have a genuine duplicate or backup item anymore. 
since, not since my last declutter. So what I have chosen to do is I have picked this purple nail polish here that I have mixed myself. And I just want you to appreciate how very similar it is to this shade. I've also mixed myself. I mean, obviously there's more shimmer visible in here. Yes, okay. But they are like very, very similar shades. I am wearing this one here on my nails today. In fact, let me put one layer of this one on one fingernail so you can see the comparison. I'm gonna put it on my index finger. Hmm, okay, so it is somewhat lighter and more shimmery. I noticed today when I applied this that, and this surprised me quite a bit, so spoiler if you are watching my Project Ten Swipes um, series, I was here when I put this polish into the project um, and then after five uses, I realized that I'm now here. So I'm like more than halfway through, which for me makes it really hassly to like try and reapply it. So, goal. I'm obviously not rolling it out of that project because I haven't hit my 10 uses yet, but I want to use this polish also five times. Do I foresee myself hitting that goal for the next update? No, again, but I think it is doable for December. Um, which is a bit annoying because literally like, yeah, I mean, I've brought in eyeshadow and nail polish. Oh, the two that I'm... Um, Definitely like my most inflated categories and therefore they're also the ones that I work on a lot in other projects. But here we are. <laughs> oh, okay, so I shall see you in my next video and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day or night. So much love. Mwah.